In this video, I'm going to look at cycloalkenes. So I've made a model of cyclohexene. So we've got a cyclic, a ring structure. It's got six carbons in the ring, and we've got one carbon-carbon double bond. So this is an example of a cycloalkene. Cycloalkenes are hydrocarbons because they contain carbon and hydrogen only. They are unsaturated hydrocarbons because of the presence of this carbon-carbon double bond. In the case of cyclohexene, it has the molecular formula C6H10. So in terms of general formula, we don't have the alkene general formula anymore. If you remember, that's CNH2N. That would make it C6H12. So the general formula of this cyclic alkene with the one carbon-carbon double bond is obviously CNH2N minus 2. So N is 6 in this case. So C6, 2, 6 is a 12, minus 2 gives you the 10. In terms of drawing cycloalkenes, there's the displayed formula. This is kind of a condensed displayed formula that we can use and we've got the skeletal formula here. So if you just remember each carbon forms four bonds so on these carbons here, so these four, you've got two bonds going to other carbons so two hydrogens on this one, this one, this one and this one. These two carbons here we've got one, two, three bonds so we can only put one hydrogen on there. So you can see on the model that's the case on both of these carbons. We'll use the rest of the video to name some cycloalkenes now. So I've drawn three up on the board. So they're gradually getting more difficult to name. And then when we've looked at the answers to these, we'll do, I'll do a couple more and then that'll be it. So an easy one to start, we've got a ring of three, so this is cycloprope. We've got a carbon-carbon double bond, so this is called cyclopropene. Now when it comes to the middle one, and this one as well, there's a, a new rule I need to introduce to you. And that's to do with the double bond and the carbons, which way around you number the carbon one and two. So the first thing to say is the double bond dictates carbons 1 and 2. So basically it's either 1, 2 that way, let's get a different colour, or 1, 2 that way. So the first thing, carbon carbon double bond is carbons 1 and 2. So first thing, carbon carbon double bond dictates carbons 1 and 2. So which way round it is, is determined by the substituent groups. So in this case, we've got a cyclopropene molecule with methyl groups here and here. So if we use the orange numbers and say that that's the carbon-carbon double bond is numbered this way, that would make this carbon number 3. So the substituents are at positions 2 and 3. If we go on the purple numbers, that means we've got one, two, three, that way. So if we use the orange numbers, the name that we get is going to be 2,3-dimethylcyclopropene. If we use the purple numbers, we get a name of one, three, dimethyl cyclopropene and the rule is that you must number the carbon carbon double bond in a such a way that gives you the smallest numbers for your substituent groups so the official name for this molecule would be the purple one one three rather than two three so we'll use the same idea for this one at the bottom. So I've got my two coloured pens. We will start with orange. So we'll colour these in one and two. 
So that means that's 3, 4, 5. And then we'll do the same with purple, but we'll go this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we'll give them the an orange name and a purple name and then decide which name it's going to be. So essentially, this is cyclopentene. And we've got two alkyl groups branched off. We've got a methyl group here and an ethyl group here. And not forgetting the alphabet rule. So in the name, the ethyl is going to come before the methyl. So if we use the orange numbers, we get a name of 4-ethyl-5-methyl-cyclopentene. Using the purple numbers now, we get a name of 4-ethyl-3-methyl-cyclopentene. So do we go with the orange, the 4, 5, or do we go with the 4, 3? It's obviously the purple one, 4, 3.